Hello, preps, year ones and year twos. I thought for our first music lesson at home, I would share something out of a book that I found in our library. I think it's a really good way of introducing how we're going to do music at home. So it's called Musical Instruments. On top of us doing some silly songs and nursery rhymes, I'd like us to do some hands-on activities if we can, trying to make your own instruments and play them and having a go. This is exactly what this book is all about, musical instruments and how they sound. And it's musical instruments from around the world, so it'll be a bit interesting. So um, parents, you can um, listen along to this as well. I will break down and explain um, the chapters as I go along because the some of the words in here could be difficult for preps, year ones and year twos to understand. Okay. So the first chapter, first section of the book is called A Musical History. And it says, making music is as old as the human race itself. No one can tell exactly when musical instruments were first used, except that people probably used themselves as instruments right from the beginning. They would clap their hands, stamp their feet, and of course, use their voices. Preppies year ones and year twos, that's exactly what we've been doing in class. We've been using our bodies, our hands, and our feet, and of course, our singing voices. I'm hoping you're telling your parents all about the difference between talking voice and singing voice. So when we are clapping our hands and stamping our feet and using our voices, we're doing things that human beings have done ever since human beings existed. People in ancient times, ancient means old, people in ancient times used natural objects to make different sounds wood on wood, wood on stone, bone on stone. Simple rhythm instruments are known to have existed in Europe as far back as 25,000 years ago. What this is basically saying is, people back in ancient times didn't have the musical instruments that we have now. You're used to using the shaky eggs or the glockenspiels or other instruments that I've get I've, made, I've gotten you to use in class. We don't have that luxury at the moment. So what I'm trying to hint at here is the music that we're going to make is going to be made out of everyday objects we find at home, just like the ancient peoples had to use the objects that they could find to make sound. We're going to be doing the same thing. People have been using wind instruments for a very long time. Early flutes and horns were generally used in religious ceremonies or as a means for people to signal to one another. As civilizations became more developed in the Middle East and Europe, more sophisticated instruments were made. They began to be used for entertainment as well. What this is saying is, as people developed and started to learn new technologies and different ways of doing things, they perfected the different instruments that had come out. And that's why we have instruments that we have today. You've seen me play the piano and the clarinet and the trumpet. All of these instruments stemmed from much older type versions of those instruments. Music has been made in every culture. It is used for religious worship, important family and state occasions, parties and entertainment. Although musical styles differ from period to period and from one culture to another, the kind of instruments that people make are remarkably similar worldwide. Drums, flutes, horns, rattles, and stringed instruments appear just about everywhere. That's everywhere in the world. Instruments can be made simply from local materials or by using the most complicated computer technology. We don't have the most complicated computer technology at home, do we? But we can find things around the house that we can use. All it takes to play some instruments well is a good sense of timing and rhythm, while others need years of practice. In either case, the joy that people get from playing and listening to music is equally worthwhile. The book goes on to explain how we can make our own instruments. 
I'm only going to pick those pages that would have materials that you can find at home every day stuff because some of them are asking you to work with woodwork and metal and other things that you won't be able to find or build or weld from home. So parents don't stress about, about that part. I'm just going to be talking about instruments that can be made easily at home, okay? Um, yes, yeah, something for you to think about. Think about what things around your house you could use as a musical instrument. Make sure you ask your parents first because if it's something expensive, don't, don't go near that. But even tapping on a table with a spoon or um, getting some toilet roll, if you have any, pun intended, you can use it as a trumpet or even just your, your own body. So your hands, clapping, stamping, tapping your heads, and obviously your voice, because your voice is an instrument, okay? So I'll be reading excerpts out of this book, um, sharing what sort of instruments we can make at home to play some of the nursery rhymes and silly songs that we'll be doing at home. Be good for your parents. Make sure that you're thanking them for the hard work that they're doing. And yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Have a think about the the things at home that you can use as musical instruments. Thank you. I'm signing off now. Until next time. Bye.